And another thing that I learned <laughs> while listening to this album is that the band was all intertwined in relationships with each other, which made uh, the writing for this album a little bit more strenuous and possibly the reason why it turned out as good as it did. What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of Fuck This Review. For those that's new to my channel, Fuck This Review is my segment where I discuss newer albums or, uh, in this case, classic albums, some may say, (laughs) and just give my honest take on the album. So, today, I decided I'm going to be reviewing Fleetwood Mac, Rumors. I wanted to do this album for two reasons. I have a list of classic albums that I never listened to that I plan on reviewing, and this was at the top of the list. And I went record shopping a couple days ago, and I seen this record, and I seen, uh, and it was a couple talking, an older couple talking about it behind me. And I was like, I'm gonna check this record out, just see what the fuss is about. So here we are. <laughs> this is Fleetwood Mac 11th studio album. Jesus, did I read that right? Yes, 11th studio album. From what I've read, this is their pinnacle album. This is their prime album. This is the this is the this is the top of the top. I also read, I'm not sure how true this is, so uh, Fleetwood Mac fans, let me know in the comments. This record sold over 10 million records worldwide in the first month. I'm not sure if that's true, because that's like astronomical numbers. <laughs> that's like a, that's, if, that's insane if the record sold over 10 million records. Hopefully what I read was a typo, because that's, that's crazy. So, and another thing that I learned, <laughs> while listening to this album is that the band was all intertwined in relationships with each other which made uh the writing for this album a little bit more strenuous and possibly the reason why it turned out as good as it did like you just can't expect that to end well like it's another group uh abba where the group was just intertwined and dating and it's just like it's no way it's no way you saw this end up being great. <laughs> like, it's just no freaking way, especially writers and artists. No. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I'm going to go over the record, some of the songs on it, some of the things I love, some of the things I didn't like so much, and just give my honest take on the album. Before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. The Road to a Thousand continues. If you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Help me out. Stop being so selfish with your post. <laughs> it's a classic Andre 3000 line. Now back to the show. The album consists of 11 records on the original, and I always like to just do the original. It's another record called Silver Spring that was added on, I I guess later which is also cool because i read that it was about silver spring maryland as a maryland native that's always cool the album starts with the record secondhand news and i have mixed feelings about this right because i enjoy i enjoyed the message behind it but not so much the song itself if that came all confusing I understand, the, like, I think the message of this record was perfect to start this album, to get the fans in, to let you know the ride you're about to journey on, what this album's going to be about, love, heartbreak, all that, right? But the song itself, like, that hook just annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> like, I've been walking around for the past couple of days, and all my head, I just hear, it's just like echoing in my head. Sorry, Fleetwood Mac fans. Uh, this is my first time listening to Fleetwood Mac, so I have no frame of reference of what the music even is about. And I read that this was their most, uh, I guess, dry for pop commercial, quote unquote, album. But that band is in my head so nonstop, and it, it just throws me off from the record. Dreams. We know what that one is, uh, especially after coming out of the pandemic and the guy on the uh, skateboard listens to his record. I'm pretty sure the streams went up a trillion thousand times over. And I've been hearing that song my whole life. So just from commercials and TV, things of that nature. But I tell you this, I never really paid attention to the record lyrics and the lyrics are are so amazing i'm not gonna spend too much time on this record because it is what it is the lyrics on their record are amazing thunder only happen when it's raining players only love when they're playing say women they will come and they will go when the rain washes clean you'll know and i was like damn those are some good ass lyrics like that's that's as straightforward as it get it had to be crazy that all the again to go back to the 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 band all being intertwined relationship wise and you're hearing these records and you're hearing it's records on here that that are written about somebody in the band that 
it's like damn that's how you felt or that's what you thought of me like it's it had to be tough and i read that not too long after this is like the band just started breaking up i could be wrong about that but this is this could be the driving force <laughs> never going back again it's not a song that has a lot of vocals on it but it gets the job done and i love the the meaning of just like i've been down i've been down what does he say um I've been down one or two times or whatever, but I'm never going back there again. Uh, I, I can honestly appreciate that message just from life standpoint and a love standpoint. Being in a relationship with someone who who's done you wrong and we all know how that feels. Uh, we all know how it feels to be down in love and never wanting to go back to that place again. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. I like that record because in the wake of all this, I think it's a perfect record to follow uh, Never Going Back because it's the optimistic view of life. Like, don't stop. I was about to say, don't stop believing. Uh, <laughs> but it's a it's a great outlook on life to just never just stop believing. Never, never settle. Never don't. Even if it's love that even as even if it's something as love that you won't believe in or that you're finding it hard to believe in after being in a tragic relationship don't let that be your breaking point or turn you away from it go your own way that that hook is massive it's made for stadiums <laughs> that's what i think when i say that and that first verse on there loving isn't the right thing to do how can i ever change things that i feel if i could maybe i give you my world how can i when you won't take it from me i could give you my world but how can I when you won't take it from me? We go into Songbird. If you have listened to any of my other videos, you know, when it comes to old records and vinyls, I always feel like the second half, when you flip it over, it's a new, it's the starting of a new album. Secondhand News started the first half of the album. Songbird. And if you didn't get the message from that, Songbird drove that home. I think Songbird is such a beautiful fucking record. And one thing I also noticed about uh, songs on this record is that they always go straight into the second verse. You know, they're, they'll play a little bit of the instruments and things of that nature. But they before they say the hook, they'll go into the second verse, which I thought was uh, different. I never really noticed that. And the funny thing is, I read that it only took Christine uh, 30 minutes to write this song. And I think this song is very... Just check it out. It's one of my favorites on there. I'll tell you this. It's the first song that I listened to on this record that kind of like... It's the first record I listened to on this album that took me back. It hit some kind of heartstring, you know? And I love how Songbird goes into the uh, the chain, which is just... <laughs> Amazing record. That record is just dope. And then the, to have the switch at the end... Dun, 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 Like, what the fuck was that? What was they thinking? Just from a production standpoint, that record is just all praises. <laughs> you make loving fun. The person who wrote this record is talking about, you know, finding someone else new and falling in love with someone else who treats you really good. You make loving fun. How can I say this? The person that you were with before you fell in love with this person is in the group <laughs> and asked to play. <laughs> Why are you singing about your new love and how you, the new man makes love so fun? That has to suck. I'm sorry, I keep bringing that up, but that has to suck. I don't want to know, which is kind of crazy coming after the song it came after. <laughs> but the, the verse where, is, where they say, uh, finally, baby, the truth has come down now. Take a listen to your spirit. It's crying out loud, trying to believe. And then to end it with, Oh, you say you love me, but you don't know. I don't want to know the reason why love keeps right on walking down the line. I don't want to stand in between you and love, honey. Just want you to feel fine. Or maybe that is a good record to come after that. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting the meaning of the record. But as the other person, you know what I mean? I don't want to stand in between you and love. You go, you go love. Yeah, maybe it is a good record to follow that. I take everything back I just said. <laughs> Going to Oh Daddy. That wreck is fucking crazy. Oh, daddy, you know you make me cry. How can you love me? I can understand why. Just to have that idea of like, why do you love me? Like, it sounds like that song was made. Let's just say it's a story, right? Of the album of Rumors. The person who was in uh, You Make Loving Fun now is like, but I'm a shitty. Like, this, I'm just saying it. I'm a sh I'm not that good of a person. <laughs> like, like, I shouldn't be loved like this. Like, finding that new person. Just to, I'm creating a whole story here. Sorry. <laughs> just just follow me. I'm creating a whole freaking story here. But sometimes passing is like, damn, this person really loves me for who I am. And 
but why? You know, you know how we always, well, some of us have always like a self doubt. Now you you can't love me for me. This has to be who's where's the Truman Show wall? You know what I mean? We're always searching for the Truman Show wall, and I think Oh Daddy was just one of my favorites. Great record. Gold Dust Women. I read that that was a song about obviously love, but also battling with drugs and i couldn't get that from this record i'm i'm listening so hard and maybe that's the problem that i'm like i don't see it but the writer's like yeah this is about this and how you know it wasn't many drugs accessible back in the 70s and things of that nature but comments let me know what did you think about uh gold dust woman did you do you get the, the 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 story behind it let me know in the comments let me get into my best songs i'm gonna go with songbird the chain and oh daddy i really enjoyed the second half of the album more than the first and i tend to do that with records it seemed like th they hit a groove the latter half worst song i'll say secondhand news just for that goddamn hook ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam -ba -bam. <laughs> best line and this line is so cold and i wish you all the love in the world but most of all i wish it for myself Whew. that's the coldest line on this whole album as far as a rating fucks given out of five i'll give it a four Let's wrap this shit up, though. In closing, when it comes to Fleetwood Mac's Rumors album, I really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying this journey of listening to the, the classics, quote-unquote, that people say. It had to be tough making this album for the circumstances that I kept mentioning throughout this review. I thought it was great that they could put all their differences aside and make a good body of work because nobody was scared to, like, I might hurt their feelings, I might hurt her feelings, I might hurt his feelings. It was it was all artists and they created this album of just a great love a tragic love story in a way and let me ask this how many <laughs> how many great albums are are breakup albums i feel like it takes up a lot of those albums lost love is the number one cause of classic album <laughs> Silver Spring, even though it's not included, I didn't touch on it a lot in this review. Silver Spring had one of the better vocal range performances throughout that I heard from this album, which I thought was cool. But that's pretty much it. As always, though, fuck this review. I'm Tatum. Peace. <laughs>